What is up, everyone? My name is Trey. Um, I have been working on a series right now. You guys watch it. It is called Sherlock Holmes and the Blocky Conspiracy. Um, basic. It's a basically it's this cool adventure map I saw. Uh, oh, let's see. It. All right. And I I liked it from the start, so I'm just going to do basically a. Uh, adventure series of this. Hopefully it'll get some likes on it and maybe I'll do another one. Uh, okay. So, open intro and Baker Street 1. So what this game has, it has notes and some rules of course. Oh, look at that. So, I might be like pausing a while for uh, me to be able to read the notes. But, I, you don't really want to listen to this. I already know where the mansion is. I read it. So, let's gather our items. Uh, got some torches. Oh, that's good. Uh, book. <laughs> there are also points in this game. Uh, it goes with, I think, gold, iron, and diamond. They worth some points, I don't know. But uh, let's leave our humble abode and let's go find the <coughs> the mansion. I'm gonna go this way because it's shorter. I I took right. I went right on the street last time and I, it took forever. <sighs> okay, okay, cool. We're at the mansion, obviously. <coughs> Hey, don't look at me. You want some of this? No, you don't. No, you don't, because I'm Sherlock Holmes. And this is the Blocky Conspiracy. So, the backstory to this is a block was stolen, a diamond block from this mansion, and they uh, want me to find out who stole it. Pretty simple, alright? Alright, open entering the mansion. Alrighty. So, I right, got this thing pulled up. All right, Butler. Ah, you must be the legendary Sherlock Holmes, along with his trusty associate, Dr. Watson. Pleased to meet you. I understand the matter is urgent. May we speak with the lady of the house? I'll get her right away, Doc Mr. Holmes, Dr. Watson. Please come in immediately. What is the situation, Miss Bernard? Earlier today, my maid was making her rounds on the third floor and discovered that the diamond block, which usually sits in the library, was missing. <gasps> she told me, and I summoned you immediately. In the police, I notified them, and they said they need someone over later. But I felt sending for you as well. Your reputation precedes you. Thank you. Now, who was in the house at the time of the crime? Myself and six members of my staff. My butler, maid, personal assistant, gardener, chef, and nanny. Do you think one of them did it? <laughs> We shall see. I wish to speak with all of them. Well, they'll be somewhere either in the first two floors of the house or on the grounds. I told everyone to stay out of the third floor. An excellent idea. I shall have a look there as well. You are free to move about the house. Thank you both so much. You're very calm. Oh, you're very welcome, madam. So, Holmes, what do you wish to do first? Interview the staff member and check out the crime scene. Let us go to the third floor and examine the crime scene. Alrighty, so... I'm guessing we're gonna go up there. <laughs> eh. What the fall? Okay. So, I think I can go through up here. I say this is a really good. <laughs> it's very well crafted, I have to say. I can't even build this good. <laughs> Run this well, whatever. Man, does it still look so stuffy? <laughs> Why'd I say wood on that little baby? Oh, oh. Okay, I guess I'm Okay, open crime scene. Ooh, the block's missing. Oh. Okay. Well, ow! Son of a biscuit that hurt. <laughs> biscuit, okay. I've seen that. <laughs> Alright, here's the third floor. 
However, this house is really exquisite indeed, but we are not here looking at the Victorian architecture quite right, old boy. Here is the stand that the block should be sitting on. Part of the glass case has been broken. By the mark in the glass, I believe that cla glass is broken in a heavy, dull object, presumably with a long handle. Ooh. Any guess of what this might be? Could be a broom, spade, or a frying pan. No way to tell for sure. Anything else? Person we're looking for is between 5 feet 8 inches and 6 feet tall. <laughs> That's an odd deduction. You won't really help. It won't really help us catch this culprit, but will help us eliminate suspects because our suspect is not in between those two heights. They're wearing stilts who made them taller, and they actually are. Then they actually are. We're crashing to make themselves shorter. Ooh, ingenious, but why? To throw us off of the scent. Ooh. The strike of glass is unnatural angle, suggesting that the person was wavering when they swung the blunt object. So we're looking for someone either tall and six feet or shorter than five feet eight inches. Yes, exactly. Nothing else. Not this time. Let's go interview the suspects and shed some light on this conundrum. <laughs> so I guess we shall go speaketh with the chef. Alrighty. The crap? What'd that just do? <laughs> huh? I don't remember. <gasps> Ooh. What's in here? The Book of Secrets. Hit! I got another book. Yay! Yay! Alrighty. <laughs> Enough getting sidetracked. Let us go interview the people in the I'm going to go in order, so... Oh, snap, wrong way. Uh, I'm going to interview the chef first. That's, that's like going in order. Less confusing that way. Yeah. Oh, sick. I like the texture pack as well. I wish the texture pack would make you look like Sherlock Holmes, but... It's all good. I have to say, this is very, very fun. Indeed it is. Ah! What the crap? It's a little weird. Ew. Um... Where is the... Oh! Okay. And I'm suggesting... Yes, here he is. Alrighty. I'm very busy, Kate. Okay? Take this axe and four melons. In those trees out back, I'll talk to you... Uh, I'll talk all you want after. Alright, so I'm supposed to take this axe and find some melon trees. Oh, well, this is going to be weird. Well, if we hit him in the trees, I could just find one that looks poorly made, like this one. This looks poorly made. Oh, like I said. Hee <laughs> hee. Uh, I guess I just got the nose. This looks poorly made. Not saying these guys are bad. Um, making trees, I'm just saying. It's a pretty easy to spot out. Ah! Set. Alright, that's not it. Okay. I see how it is now. Uh, am I sure? Oh. Yeah. So I one melon down. And got the other. In the trees. Okay, how many trees are here? <gasps> Ooh, I feel like this might have a melon. <gasps> I was right. Yeah, yeah. <gasps> Two melons down. I should say. Ooh. Uh, no, 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 no. The rules are simple in this. No breaking blocks. Well, I guess it, he said no breaking blocks besides clay, dirt. I don't know why I said that, but I uh, guess we're allowed to break the leaves since uh, we have to. I'm pretty sure we have to. If not, then I completely failed. But 
don't care. I'll do it my way. Okay, man, this is taking.